My name is Maurice Velasquez. And I'm John Shirk. And this is Winning in the Workplace. Powered by Team Real World. Welcome to Winning in the Workplace. My name is Gordy Rush. I'm your host. Joined each and every week by my friends, John Shirk, Maurice Velasquez. I said that correctly, right? Man, I'm over here clapping. Try not to let the, the <laughs> microphone it's pick it up. Once in every ten times. Hey, Gordy, it took me about seven years for me to learn how to pronounce it. So it's you okay. Know. It's, your it's name. okay. I've got people calling me up saying, "Hey, you butchered that." Anyway, these guys are from Team Real World. They're the best in business consultants. Thank you, Gordy. And guys, we you know one of my favorite topics is. Uh, you know, we talk about getting the stuff out, meaning getting input from your employees. It's mission right. critical. Employees today feel like they want to be involved. They want their opinion to matter. They want to be engaged. Correct. So we talked a little bit uh, in past episodes about getting them to speak. Once you get them to speak, it comes out oh, like a yeah. tidal wave. It does. <laughs> so it does. our yes, topic it does. right now is what do you do? Once you get all the stuff on the table, yeah, and well, it becomes a lot of stuff, it and is. there's some drama in the stuff, mm-hmm. and you got to manage through the stuff. So how do you deal yeah. once all the problems come out? <laughs> First thing, I appreciate you saying all that. Yeah, managers just need to realize there is no getting around it. Oh. You have to go straight to the issues. Be willing to go listen, and understand that what you're going to confront are three real layers. First of drama, mm-hmm. it's bi- things have built up so much that the first layer that you're going to confront is a lot of drama. The second layer, as you work through, is a layer of anger, mm-hmm. you know, and then the le- then the final layer is one of frustration and loss of hope that nothing's going to get done. And then uh, uh, we'll talk in a second as you how to do that. But once you, once a manager is able to work through those layers, what's interesting is employees tend to recognize that if you're willing to sit with me for the minutes necessary to get to the issue and hear me out and just and just vent yep you know i'll i'll start telling you what the real issue is and i'll only i'll not only tell you what the issue is i'll tell you the way it's worked in the past Mm. i'll even tell you the process has been broken and i'll even tell you the way we've all agreed to do it but we're not given permission or it's been changed on us in other words once you get it's worth bottom line it's worth to work through those layers to get to the issue because you're not just going to hear the, the problems. They will start telling you ways to solve it. And the good thing about you guys, are you're kind of like emergency management. That's really Crisis good. management. You it know, is. when like a, the water breaks somewhere, it's not your first rodeo. You've no. seen it before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you get the managers like, oh, my gosh, what did I just do? Oh, yeah. I unleashed the volcano of employee stuff, and I've got hot lava all around me (laughs) up to my neck. Help me, John and Maurice. (laughs) Well, the first, the first, the first thing to do is this: is to uh, let the department that you're going to be talking with. You said, "Hey, guys, we want to meet for an hour and a half, conference room, and let's talk about these issues." And yes, you guys are probably accustomed to the fact that we don't listen. We've learned some skills, and we want to show you that we are learning how to listen. So give us another shot at this, and just say that. In the email that goes out, be willing to acknowledge that we haven't done a good job of listening in the past, but we're going to listen, okay? Can I even just say something more fundamental or more rudimentary even than what you're saying, Maurice? It is... We t- we meet lots of rookie managers in particular. This is now where I'm talking about the first couple of years in which they've been a manager. They used to be a frontliner. There are lots and lots of this this crowd out there. The realization that is so relieving for them is that this handling these things. It turns out that's their job. There's lots of them who don't realize anything beyond my job is to tell those people what to do and to ask the people above me what do they want. And when the people don't do what I want them to do, then they come up to us in the conference and they say, John, my people won't do what I tell them to do. What should I do? Yeah. And they don't realize that once this floodgate of sometimes difficult to hear stuff comes to them, they, their job is finally now beginning to happen. They, Correct. This, all, this is, it's a, even though it's difficult to hear, it's good news. It's, it's, even if it's hard, it's good. I think that's a hard thing for managers is that, you know, you hear some stuff that's hard to hear, and you guys sitting down and basically saying, hey, they're thinking it, and that's the perception. Yeah. So either you can try and deal with it head on, 
or the perception's just going to exist and you're never going to hear about Correct. it. Correct. Yeah. So Correct. which would you prefer? Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Uh, and what I would throw in there as well is that uh, we, we quickly get them to where they just put all that stuff on one page. Yeah. So what happens is this. You first send that email and tell them, guys, we're going to talk about the real issues that we know you guys are facing every day. Now, at that point, the employees, they're not going to believe you. You go into the meeting yeah. and you repeat yourself, guys, we're here to listen, and we know from what we've heard and what we've heard from you guys, there's about five to six major issues that are really frustrating you guys that, that for some reason or another, we have not resolved and we haven't been listened to. And here's what we've heard so far. Number one, all of y'all's executive assistants and your administrative assistants are overwhelmed, and for the past seven months, you guys have requested either more assistance, get more help, or figure somehow to streamline the paperwork, and we haven't listened to you. Number one, you guys feel that the accounts that are being distributed, we're using about 26 different processes, and we're showing a lot of favoritism as to who gets the account, and some people are making more money that have been here less than those senior people that should be handled different accounts, and we're not being fair about this. Number three, the Lafayette office and the Hammond office seem to be using different processes, and somehow we're favoriting, favoring them more than what we tell you guys, and yet mm -hmm. we're the home office. And finally, there's a parking lot issue in which somehow it's caused a lot of angst. Are we anywhere in the ballpark? And when managers walk in and say, look, we are now bringing up the issues that we hear are real for you, and no one's getting in trouble for bringing them up. So you think that's yeah. a quicker way of cutting to the chase? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Because, Managers oh, breaking yes. the ice. Oh, you have to. I love that. Gordy, you break the ice and you say, okay, guys, these are the issues we want to talk about. And from what we hear, there's about eight or nine other issues out there. Let's start the conversation. Guys, it is safe. We're in Las Vegas. It is safe to say anything and everything. We have an hour and a half. You notice we have two sticky boards here. The problems and then some recommended solutions. We have an hour and a half to cover these things with information. We're going to get this info, and we're going to walk out of here, and we'll come back to you guys and we'll see what we can do with all this. But now we need somebody to start talking. And whenever they get that feel that, indeed, you're here to listen, someone's going to break the ice and say, all right, I'll be the first one to speak up. And when that person starts speaking up, that's when the managers need to move into what we call the Z model. OK, mm -hmm. make a long story short is this. Whenever someone starts speaking up, you don't correct them. You don't chastise them. You don't clarify and you don't give an excuse as to why they may not understand why the, why the issue happened. What you say is you say, all right, so what you're saying is that and then you start repeating back what they say and you start writing on the board the one line or two line that best captures the issue. And you say, so let me ask you, Tommy, you're basically saying that unless we address this issue of how the faxing is taking care, how the scanning is taking place in the outside offices, all the other paperwork issues are not as important. You consider that to be, yes. All right, how, how many of you agree with him? And then as they realize that you're just becoming a reporter, then that, that they're able to freely talk then you're going to find that within 20 minutes, man, you, you're, you're, you're populating a lot of stuff on that sheet of paper, and they're realizing that no one's getting in trouble about this. That's right. You know, if I could break that down even a little bit into sort of the, what's going on in the minds of those frontliners, as relates to engagement specifically, there's two, two halves to the issue. There's the half where there's these things that are actually getting in the way, literally, physically, tools kind of things or whatever, getting in the way of the work. And then there's what's going on in their head that's keeping them from being engaged in the work, right? How is it possible that one company can get beaten badly by another company when the first company has got superior tools and superior talent? How is it possible? How is it? Because we say, well, if you got a wiggly hand on that shovel or if your car won't fit in the parking lot or whatever, how can I get into work? You know what? When those guys are engaged because someone is listening, before the problem is fixed, when someone is get engaged because they're listening, they'll walk to work. Oh, yeah. Without They'll do it with the wiggly handle. J just last Friday, John and I and one of our other consultants, we did this exercise at a financial consulting firm, okay? And we asked the managers not to show up. Why? Because we needed to talk to the, to the frontliners, okay? Mm -hmm. These are highly paid individuals. And they started telling us. And as they talked, one of our consultants would write it on the sheet of paper, on the, on the sticky board. And they realized that we were capturing everything they were saying. We were validating what they were saying. We understood what they were saying. 
and it lasted for a good hour and 10 minutes. And towards the end, Gordy, one of them said this. He leaned up. He was one of the quiet fellows. He waited until the last minute and said, you know what, guys? He kind of wagged his finger. Remember that? Mm-hmm. He said, you know what, guys? Item number four, okay? You see that issue right there? The administrative assistance. If you guys take care of that issue right there, all the other issues will go away. And then another one said, no, I'll even go further than that. If they fix that issue, I'll stop griping about everything else up there. <laughs> and we're like, yeah. wait a minute, so wait got, a minute. Yeah, yeah, wait, solved, right? And so right. then they started acknowledging, yeah, we, we've been complaining. We've been, we, we, we've been griping. Now you have a commitment that we're going to work on this together. But you have to first show that you listened. Yep. Good stuff, indeed. Guys, if you would, new website, if you'd pass that along to uh, all our listeners out there. Winningintheworkplace.com. Please join us there with a small subscription. You can get new cutting-edge training about leadership and management and high performance every single week. Also, I believe all the media, if you want to hear some Everything. episodes, some Everything. other episodes That's of the right. show, That's right. please for, do for so. For a very, very low monthly monthly subscription, correct. That's right. John Shirt, Maurice Velasquez, this is Winning in the Workplace. Winning in the Workplace is the most practical and results-driven training to increase your skills as a professional as a manager and leader. So are you ready to win in your workplace? Visit www.winningintheworkplace.com. 